Yes. <laughs> Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, first of all, thank you all for your patience and being here and listening to all of us. Um, I'm Mary Chase. I'm a volunteer, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, lobbyist for the League of Women Voters of Rhode Island. Um, certainly do thank you for your public service. I'm here tonight um, to support the Reproductive Health Care Act, H5127. Um, however, we will be considering um, uh, Representative Williams' bill uh, 5125 as well. Uh, but, um, but the uh, 5127 at this point seems the better bill to uh, protect us over the broad spectrum and to, to give us more protection. The League of Women Voters is a national organization. It has local chapters in every state. It has carefully studied the arguments concerning abortion and the Roe versus Wade decision, and it's carefully, uh, um, uh, it has for 40 years supported the Supreme Court's decision declaring a woman's right to privacy, and this is which the court based upon our Constitution's 14th Amendment concept of personal liberty and restrictions upon state action. Um, the laws uh, identified in the Reproductive Health Care Act, uh, which prohibit ab abortion, are denying a woman the right to make her reproductive choices. And we've discussed, discussed this uh, before earlier today. The Roe versus Wade decision guaranteeing a woman's right to privacy has assured her being able to have sovereignty over her own body for government, institutions, or others to attempt to dictate what she may or may not do is nothing less than an invasion of her, of her uh, privacy and also a matter of equity. We would have to ask ourselves, is it equitable that half the population of this state and our country should be subject to control while the other half is not? And I think some of our speakers have addressed that somewhat. The League has also considered the effects of, women, of a woman's being forced to carry a pregnancy to term, which has ramifications, especially if she's unable to be a responsible parent. Our state is struggling to get right the care of children in its charge, those children for whom the parents have not been able to provide adequate care. We are not doing a very good the job, yeah. despite many de in the state, despite many determined efforts to do so. Giving birth can impact a woman's independence and her economic stability, as has been so eloquently described by the speaker over here on my left and by Representative Williams. Uh, she should be the determiner of whether or not ending a pregnancy is right for her and her family. Mary, could I ask you to finish your testimony? Oh, just Thanks. okay. Well, uh, so I, um, we are um, for H. Oh, let's see, 50, uh, okay. We are against H fifty one ninety nine, fifty one ninety eight, and fifty one fourteen because we feel that the medical community should be the determiner of those issues. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.